this video covers uh, polymorphism and dynamic binding. Uh, this was uh, created by me uh, several years ago for ICS 141. So this uh, could be very elementary stuff for some of you. If so, maybe you can just uh, skim through the slides. I leave that decision entirely to you. It depends on your comfort level with the topic. If you are very uncomfortable with it, maybe you should watch this and think a lot. To give you an idea about uh, polymorphism and dynamic binding, imagine uh, an analogous case in a, in a restaurant or a coffee shop or whatever, which uh, or maybe a beverage shop which sells all kinds of beverages. So the beverages can be hot or cold. So it serves, let's assume, a coffee and tea, which are hot, and two cold beverages, mango juice and orange juice. So there are cups or bottles or mugs or kettles for these things. So Let's assume that uh, this styrofoam cup can hold hot as well as cold beverages. Then uh, this kind of a cup can only hold hot drinks and this stuff can only store cold beverages. Let's pretend that tea is stored in kettles maybe not drink, uh, then uh, let's also uh, wave hands and say, uh, in this mug, in this white mug, you only um, have coffee. So if you are told that uh, this contains some liquid, this white mug contains a liquid, you know that it is coffee. And mango juice comes in bottled, um, in bottles, so this is mango juice and orange juice comes in a different type of bottle. So I um, uh, want you to accommodate me here that uh, we are making some restrictions on um, the way the beverages, beverage holders are organized so please accommodate that. Let's make those assumptions. Then it, things will get a lot easier, all right? Let's see why we are doing this. Each product like mango juice or coffee is like an object, right? Those are the things that we really are interested. Actually, we are never interested in these cups or kettles or mugs or bottles. They are there only for the purpose of um, drinking or making uh, coffee or tea or juice, nothing else. We might, uh, we are more interested in the actual drinks. Similarly, it is the object that we are really interested in. These cups and mugs and bottles, etc., are like references. They store the uh, drinks, just like a reference stores the address of, a, of an object. So an object is stored in a reference variable. Uh, just like a beverage is poured into a certain beverage holder. So when you have um, when you have a container, when you have a when you see a cup like this styrofoam cup, can you tell what it contains without looking inside? No it would be hard. I mean, you wouldn't know. It could be containing any one of these drinks. So that is, it could be storing any beverage. So that is like polymorphism. Certain object references can store a collection of different types of 
objects store the address of different types of objects so that is called polymorphism the other thing is would you be able to tell what kind of beverage it is simply by drinking from a holder even if you are blindfolded supposing you knew how all these drinks tasted how tea tasted how coffee tasted how mango juice tastes and how orange juice tasted so suppose you are given a cup like this and you are blindfolded and you drink it would you be able to tell it tell what kind of type of beverage it is of course yes this is more like dynamic binding even if you don't know what the type of an object is from the method that gets called you can gather what the actual type is that is more like dynamic binding there are fine differences but for the most part the analogy holds so if you consider the corresponding class declaration suppose you wanted to represent this in java it would be like this public class beverage so this would be storing any beverage this would be more like public class hot beverage extends beverage this can only store hot drinks so this is a specialized cup more specialized than this one which holds any type of beverage this can only store hot drinks and this would be a cold beverage holder so this represents the cold beverages any reference of any cup like this can store any cold beverage like any um, any reference of uh, type cold beverage can store um, any uh, cold beverage object any cold beverage, any um, drink like mango, mango juice or orange juice so class declarations um, coffee would extend a hot beverage it is even more specialized so uh, the coffee mug can only store coffee and an object a reference of type coffee can only store the coffee object similarly for tea same thing with uh, similar stuff for mango juice mango juice is um, this is the type of bottle for a mango juice it can only hold mango juice uh, this bottle similarly a reference of type mango juice can only store mango juice objects similarly for orange juice so beverage beverage holder is like this cup hot beverage holder is more like this cup and cold beverage holder is like this cup and so on let's imagine this game some beverage is poured into a certain beverage container right without seeing the drink so imagine any one of those different types of containers and assume that some drink is poured into one of those containers and let's see we are not breaking the rules that is we are not going to put inappropriate inappropriate uh, drinks here for example you are not going to pour hot hot drinks here right so assume those kinds of um, norms without seeing the drink but simply by looking at its container what could you say about the type of drink in that container so there are different types of containers so imagine any one of these and then see whether you can predict what it will contain accurately in some cases you can in some cases you cannot even if you are blindfolded this is actually we talked about this we talked about before actually all these things can you tell what kind of beverage it is by drinking it can you tell whether it is hot or cold by drinking it without um, looking that is even if you are blindfolded actually uh, maybe this looks too silly but it is actually quite serious this is quite applicable in object oriented paradigm 
So some object is stored in a certain reference, just as some beverage is poured into a certain beverage container. Here, you or the uh, restaurant or the coffee shop or beverage shop guy will not put inappropriate beverages in the cups or mugs or whatever. Just like that, Java is not going to allow you put, to put all kinds of objects into references or make a reference to all addresses of all kinds of objects. So Java is going to be very strict. So without looking at uh, the uh, type of the object, without doing something like a runtime type identification, can you say what kind of object is in a reference? Would you be able to say which method will be invoked without knowing what the object is? So in the object-oriented paradigm, is this right, beverage? We are talking about this kind of a cup and beverage holder equals new coffee. Is this allowed? Well, let's see whether this is allowed in real life. Coffee can be poured into this. There is no harm. Coffee is a hot drink, but it can be poured into a styrofoam cup. So there is nothing wrong in doing it in real life. And if you have this hierarchy in Java, this also works. Or to look at a second example, can you pour orange juice into this cup? The answer is yes. Just as this can store the address or reference of this orange juice object. So the answer is yes to all of these. What could this contain then? Because if you can store all these things in the beverage, um, this in this beverage holder, this styrofoam cup, obviously it could be any one of these, coffee, tea, orange juice, mango juice, all of that could be any one of those. What could this contain? Coffee? No, in real life. Similarly, it cannot be uh, the, uh, the reference at this, the reference to this of this type cannot be storing anything from this hierarchy. So it, can, it should be able to store only, it will only store stuff in this hierarchy. No coffee, no tea, mango juice and orange juice are fine. And so it goes. I, I think uh, you would have gotten the idea by now. Could this be hot? Yes, of course, if it contains coffee, it is, it is hot. If it contains um, orange juice, then it could be cold. What could it taste like? It could be tasting like any one of those drinks, right? Because it could be containing any one of those beverages. So something like sensing the temperature when you drink something, when you drink from here, or when you drink, drink from any one of those um, cups, you can sense the temperature yourself and then say whether it is a cold beverage or hot beverage, right? So that is like dynamic binding. Now let's look at um, another aspect. Suppose we add a fifth type of drink here, is cola. It extends cold beverage, so it comes in this hierarchy under cold beverage. But let's say that uh, mango juice could be organic or not organic. But there is no such thing for a cola. So it makes sense to look at a mango juice bottle and then check whether it is organic, whether that method is only good for this particular class, uh, mango juice. It is not good for a cola class that could be here. So 
different children or different siblings of the same parent can have specialized methods that are only applicable to that particular class. So if you have, if you pour mango juice to this uh, cold beverage cup, uh, you can't, I mean, without knowing what it is, you cannot really ask whether it is organic because that is only applicable to mango juice. Where, uh, for example, if you pour cola, uh, you can't ask if it is organic. So is organic is only applicable to colas. It is a specialized method. So use that specialized method is not accessible from this particular reference. But when you are in the mango juice class, it makes sense to ask whether it is organic. So remember that. Then what kind of assignments are legal? So can you take uh, things from any place and pour it into any other place? This is very much like the kinds of assignments you can make in Java. So, uh, mango juice can be stored here. Mango juice can be poured into this. So, cold beverage holder can store a reference to a mango juice object in Java. So, a reference to this, a reference of this type can store the address of any object in its hierarchy but not in any other hierarchy. So can you do this? Can you pour from here to this, from the styrofoam cup to here? Uh, the answer is, it is risky. You don't want to do that unless you knew that this was cold. So you don't want to do this. Java doesn't allow you to do this. Cold beverage holder equals beverage holder is not legal. So remember that you can't take something from the top and move it into uh, something below. A reference of the specialized type cannot be equal to a reference to the super type. But this is okay. Uh, you, you can always take a cold beverage and put it with a styrofoam, styrofoam cup. So you can t have a reference of a super type point to an object of a subtype. Now, um, we will cover protected bubbles in a different. Uh, we will uh, have this in a different video. Mm -hmm.